Man's best friend. It's a term we've all heard before regarding the relationship between homo sapiens and dogs. It's not hard to tell why. These adorable hairy little companions can be found alongside humans in almost every country and are adored by families the world over. For thousands of years they've guarded our homes, helped us hunt and kept us company in times of loneliness and difficulty as can be seen in art and mythology stretching back through antiquity. But just how did this strange match come about? How did a race of hairless apes end up so closely tied to wild canines? This is Ancient Origins and today we'll be exploring 5 facts about the history of dogs and man. Subscribe for more fascinating historical videos like this one. Number 1. Dogs may have evolved through scavenging. It's believed that the modern domestic dog, Canis familiaris, is a tame descendant of the fearsome grey wolf. This is surprising and might not immediately be obvious when considering certain dog breeds like chihuahuas and pugs. However, mitochondrial DNA indicates that they emerged onto the scene 100,000 years ago. Though a hunting species by nature, most theories suggest that these normally aggressive wolves will be attracted to leftover food scraps at Stone Age human settlements. Only the tamer, less aggressive ones would have had the courage to approach. This created a whole subsection of less skittish wolves with less aggressive predatory instincts who essentially became scavengers who were able to benefit from man's bounty. Gradually they began to follow nomadic humans around and through this process in time became domesticated naturally. Through generations these creatures became the dogs we know today. Number 2. Ancient people loved their dogs. One thing that's always been true about history is that human nature doesn't change. If people today love their fluffy little friends, chances are that our ancient ancestors did too. In 1954, archaeologists discovered a Paleolithic tomb in northern Israel from 10,000 BC known as Ein Mala. It was created by the Natufian civilization who were the first of the eastern Mediterranean cultures to leave behind their nomadic lifestyle and establish permanent dwellings. Inside the tomb they discovered a deeply moving scene, the skeleton of a man buried with his little puppy resting his hand on its body. This shows that even our primitive ancestors had a strong emotional bond with their four-legged companions as we do today. Pet ownership in fact has been a feature of ancient aristocracy for millennia. Ancient Egyptian wall art shows pharaohs keeping animal companions like dogs and Greco-Roman nobility are known to have kept similar pets. Chinese emperors especially pampered their puppers. Their dogs had their own wet nurses and servants to attend to their every need. Even the warrior vikings kept lap dogs simply for the company. As long as people have had these animals, the bond of emotion and friendship has kept them close. Number 3. They had religious significance. Ritually buried dog skulls have been discovered as far back as 30,000 BC during the Paleolithic Age. In 2011, one such prehistoric dog was found buried with a gigantic mammoth bone gripped between his teeth. Researchers believe it may have been inserted after the creature's death by its human owners. Its brain had been removed with great care and delicacy in what appears to be some ritual or religious ceremony. This shows that dogs clearly played a role in our ancient ancestors' religious belief system. Canine deities are worshipped in cultures all over the world and feature in the pantheons of the Chinese, the Egyptians and South American peoples, just to name a few examples. Many of these were believed to serve as spiritual guides and help usher souls into the afterlife, such as the jackal god Anubis, who features prominently in Egyptian art. Number 4. Dogs were used to help with farming. By 6000 BC, the development of farming had revolutionized the relationship between man and wolf. No longer hunter-gatherers living hand to mouth on the open plains, human beings began to settle down in fixed locations for the sake of growing crops. Our ancient ancestors quickly realized that they could domesticate dogs using the starch-filled plants that they now grew and that they needed help to defend their vulnerable settlements and food sources. The speed and ferocious killing power of these semi-tamed wolves allowed Stone Age tribes to hunt animals more easily. Dogs protected crops from pests in return for the safety, food and shelter provided by human companionship. This mutually beneficial relationship proved useful for both parties and has continued ever since. Number 5. Dogs were used in warfare. Anyone who knows dogs is aware that they can be great friends or fearsome enemies. 
When you get on their bad side, the wolf nature emerges and their aggression is unparalleled. Ancient peoples realized this and used dogs to defend their settlements from rival human factions. Dogs of war were used in the Stone Age to fight neighboring tribes and by later civilizations like the Romans, Greeks, Egyptians and Persians just to name a few. They featured in many famous battles such as the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC or Xerxes I's invasion of Greece 10 years prior. The earliest recorded use of dogs in battle comes from a classical source. It recounts King Aliates of Lydia and his defensive war against the Cimmerians in 600 BC. The Lydian army is said to have unleashed their fearsome battle hounds on the invading army, watching as they were torn to pieces by the vicious canine's teeth. In Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, cavalry troops used dogs to supplement their combat style. They would unleash the dogs on the enemy lines and while distracted with these canine aggressors, the opposing army would be unable to deal with the charging Anatolian horsemen. This had a shock and awe effect and was catastrophic for the enemy. This is not unlike the roles that dogs can be seen in today. Many militaries and police forces use dogs alongside modern technology due to their loyalty and excellent sense of smell. What all this shows is that in many ways the relationship between human beings and canines hasn't changed much in all our millennia of companionship. Through thick and thin these adorable creatures have stood by our side, showing that even in the harshest of conditions worthwhile friendships can be found. Let's hope this bond will continue for many centuries to come. Which is your favourite mythological dog and why? Let us know in the comments below. For more information on the historical relationships between dog and man, follow the link below to the article on our Ancient Origins website. Subscribe for more fascinating historical videos like this one. As always, thanks for watching.